Hello and welcome to Krishi Jagran Business Platform which keeps you updated with all the agri news of the nation. This is Jyoti Singh. Let's take a quick look at the top headlines of the day. Indian Air Force introduces C295 MW boost self-reliance in defense. CM Yogi grants farmers compensation for land used in MotoGP Bharat. Cooperative sectors spurs rural and agriculture growth. Amit Shah highlights impact. Union Minister launches India's first green hydrogen fuel cell bus. Bengaluru to observe Bandh on September 26 due to Kaveri water dispute. Indian Air Force welcomes first C295 aircraft. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh oversaw its induction alongside Air Chief Marshal V R Chaudhary and other military leaders in Ghaziabad. The C295, a versatile Airbus aircraft, handles troop transport, cargo, maritime patrol, signal intelligence, and medical evacuation. It can carry up to nine tons of cargo or 71 troops, flying at a max speed of 260 knots. Air Chief Marshal V R Chaudhary gets first of 56. C295 aircraft deal worth rupees 21935 crore replaces aging avro 748 fleet airbus gives 16 planes by 2025 rest made in india with tata uttar pradesh chief minister yogi adityanath visited greater noida for the moto gp bharat event and met with a group of 21 farmers These farmers expressed their gratitude for a decision that they feel greatly improved their lives and livelihood. The farmers were thrilled and wanted to personally thank Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. He had allowed them to seek compensation and rehabilitation benefits for government owned land they had been using for 45 years. This land was initially acquired for the Noida International Greenfield Airport at Zivar and previously officials and denied compensation claiming government ownership. Amit Shah highlights cooperative role in advancing agriculture and rural development. Amit Shah, a prominent government leader, underscored the significant contribution of cooperative organization in fostering growth within the agricultural and rural sectors of the country. He emphasizes that this cooperative have played a pivotal role in supporting agricultural activities and uplifting the overall development of villages, ultimately enhancing the quality of life for the residents in these regions. Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri talks about green hydrogen. The minister talked about how green hydrogen is essential for cleaner economy and the transition to clean energy worldwide. He mentioned the Prime Minister plan for self-sufficient energy using electrical vehicles, natural gas and green hydrogen announced at the Red Fort. This discussion took place during the launch of the first green hydrogen fuel cell bus in New Delhi. attended by other dignitaries marking the beginning of green hydrogen power transportation in india on september 26 some bus services in karnataka may not run as usual because the workers federation of the karnataka state road transport corporation supports the bengaluru band this band or strike is happening because some groups in karnataka are upset about the sharing kaveri river water with tamil nadu The decision for the band on September 29 was made by the Kannada Okuta led by Kannada activist Vatal Nagraj after the Karnataka Jalla Samrakshan Samiti a group of farmers and organization led by farmers leader Kuruburu Santa Kumar called for a shutdown in Bengaluru on Tuesday That's all for today's news the registration for the MFOI awards 2023 organized by Krishi Jagran has started please check out the description box to register for more updates on agri news stay tuned with Krishi Jagran business